I'm getting my tires changed today. Um, but everyone changed their tires, right? But something I would hope more people would know is that you know most of the time when we talk about cars and then we go like oh this this car is faster this car achieved this timing blah blah and all that we always credit the car of course the drivers do matter as well but most of the times we only credit the car now if you if you were to pop the same thing to a seasoned driver or a professional driver you're gonna tell him that oh you know what that day my friend in this car at Sepang he managed this time it's ridiculously quick blah blah he's gonna ask you the first question what tires are, are is he on I assure you I'm not joking he's gonna ask you the first thing he's gonna ask you is what tires because tires matter and whatever horsepower you have whatever you your, your, however fast your car is your turbo and all that the only thing that puts your power down to the ground are tires and the contact patch of your tire an average contact patch I mean your tires can be 18 inch 19 inch and all that right but it's a circle so when it touches the road the patch that it has to bring your thousand horsepower your thousand two hundred horsepower or whatever top figures is the size of maybe an a5 paper half an a4 paper yes so yeah whatever car you have I mean provide I mean if it is a four-wheel car right if you're telling me that your car has six wheels then of course you have more contact patch but basically that's that's what it is all right um, that's that's how your car put that puts down power and tires are very important a lot of people don't really um, check their tires their tire pressure I check my tire pressure every one and a half week or two weeks about all these talks about fuel efficiency blah blah and all that car makers have been trying to bring down the coefficient drag of their cars Right, a few years ago, 0 0.36, 0 0.37 is significantly great. And then you have uh, Honda telling everybody they, the way they design, why the inside looks the way it does, and why the Prius also looks like that, because that was the that is the, the most aerodynamic shape. Yada yada, and then you see the new Audi A4, 0 0.2, I don't know, 2.4, 2.5. Crazy low coefficient drag figures. You know, lightening the car, um, designing aerodynamic body shells and all that. They are trying to improve 0.8%, 1.2%, 3% of your fuel consumption figures, 5%, where uh, the the alternator actually dis disengages from the engine, and then you have cars with. Uh, um, electrical power steering where the, the, the pump doesn't draw power from the engine and all that all these things they're trying to save a few percentage points of your fuel consumption why did I say this because if everybody in this world if all of us check our tire pressures make sure our tires are at optimum pressure level every single day say for example that means no one is driving around with the wrong tire pressure the entire world will burn maybe five percent to seven percent less fuel i'm serious that is millions of barrels of oil every day just from checking our tire pressure so tires are hugely important and of course there are many many brands out there right big brands uh, I think the biggest boys in, in in the tire industry is Michelin Bridgestone Continental uh, who ranks first I'm, I'm not sure but these are the, the three big boys in our region of course in Europe and in US they have Nokian tires and all that um, yeah but here is generally these three big boys it's actually recommended by my great great good friend Darren Chang from Auto Detailer he told me give give the Japanese a try because they make really good tires and at a at a fraction of the price of the uh, premium French I would say yeah Michelin tires are damn expensive um, 
Yeah, she, she told me that the, good, uh, the, the Japanese brands are, are just as good. So, of course, Bridgestone. Um, I, I love the Bridgestone brand solely because of one ad they did for F1. When they were the F1 sponsor, they did a, a commercial with uh, all showing the tire wall and then they say that even other brands have a chance in F1 as well. So that ad uh, gave me a very, very strong impression. And that's why until now, I still really love the Bridgestone brand solely because of that really, really clever ad. I'm here. Let's get down and get business done. So they're gonna remove the tires now. I think all of us are familiar with this, right? Uh, removing the tires and then they're gonna take out the tires and put the new ones and then do balancing and all that. Right? And this place is quite nifty. Because you have all the tools here, but then check it out. That's the waiting area for customers. Quite unique, right? So interesting. I mean, more shops should be like that. So this is the, the place where customers can rest. So we get our cars done there and then we just sit around here and I'm gonna get myself a cup of coffee. Wow. So it's officially launched by... Oh, it's just launched last year. Nice. <coughs> and then you have a waiting area and you can check out when your car is being done. Lovely. So these are the tires that I'm getting, um, Potenza S001 RFT. RFT meaning is run flat. So these are run flat tires. As you know, um, in, in BMWs, you don't get a spare tire. So uh, what run flats do is that they have very strong side walls. So even when you experience a puncture, the side wall will be strong enough for you to maintain uh, grip and the composure of the tire to maintain motion so you won't crash basically so these are made in japan and yeah i think it's their i suppose it's their ultra high performance tires yeah so i'm gonna put these on and see how well they do i don't really like the the design of the threads but i'm, I'm a design guy so uh, we'll see how as we all know, the tires will sort of explode when they started filling it up, right? That's when it picks up the edges of the rim. You hear that? Oh. So this is actually a different type of uh, balancing machine. Um, what it does is that it, it can balance wheels for speeds of up to 200 kmh. So normal balancing machines, right, they, they, they can, you know, balance until like what, 100 over kph. But this one goes up to 200. And this here is a nitrogen gas pump. So it fills nitrogen gas into our wheels. Uh, it's not something that is crucial because, well, why, why, why some people fill their wheels with nitrogen? Um, if you, if your car has in-car tire pressure monitors, you will notice that, say for example, you pump your 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 tire pressure. You you you, you go to the petrol station early in the morning, right? Then you fill them up with uh, two hundred fifty uh, psi or, or whatsoever, and then in the afternoon you might if you if you activate your tire pressure sensor just to have a look at it right you will see that hey, wow uh 
they are not equal anymore they are, they, they are the figures are different why because heat and it expands the, the, the air in our tire so nitrogen is a lot more resistant towards that but for day-to-day -day use it's not uh, exactly something really really crucial but more for you know track day driving and all that yeah so I mean of course for some people would like to have optimum tire pressure all the time then they can opt for nitrogen gas filling so they're gonna do the alignment now so this is laser guided some high-tech equipment here so what it's gonna done is that that's gonna measure that and then they'll do the adjustments now that everything is done uh, we've done the balancing we've done the alignment and now it's for testing so he's gonna drive out to the highway and see if there's any vibrations and all that oh I've got my tires done and previously I'm on Dunlop SP Sport or something first impression the see, the workers there told me that the bridge tones are quite loud right in terms of road noise and all that <laughs> I, I guess my Dunlop SP Sport is louder because it's quieter now yeah and so far the steering feels more it feels slightly more planted that's the first difference that I can tell um, yeah I like the feeling of this um, earlier on it was a bit like mm, it's not floaty but a bit detached so now uh, I kind of felt this yeah it is better uh, the most important thing is still the thread how much thread you're left with uh, because like it or not we are a country that that gets a lot of rainfall and as your threads uh, got thinner they're no longer that deep um, I'll give you an example about okay on the dry is of course your contact patches that does the work right the contact patches that's all the work the grooves are all there just for rain rainwater dispersing the, the disbursement of rainwater if you look at slick tires uh, or racing tires and all that on F1s or whatever they have no threads um, because you want maximum contact right so tires with threads mainly for water now as your tire contact patches wear out your threads got thinner or shallower shall I say so it's the same case as a very deep monsoon drain or a shallow one right your, your, your usual housing area drains if they are deep they can disperse water a lot of water a lot more water when they're shallow they overflow so in, in that sense for tires when your tire threads are shallow and you no longer can disperse as much water they will overflow just that they are the other side right the drains work that way your tire threads work that way so what that means is when they are they are unable to disperse water efficiently water will sit in between your contact patches with the road and that's where trouble starts and yeah so get your tires checked it saves you fuel saves your life and it's a very important thing don't skip on tires because it's basically your shoes right your car is your feet an extension of your feet and what touches the ground is are the soles of your shoe it's the same logic if I give you a pair of shoes where the sole has wear out and it's slippery you won't be able to run as fast change direction as fast or stop as, as fast the same goes for your tires so yeah make sure your tires are healthy make sure your tires are the threads and all that is working well and and there's 
There's no better feeling than having a fresh new set of tires on your car because it's just so different. I'll see how things go and maybe update you guys on my new tires. And so far, I like it. It, it feels great. It, it just feels great. Yeah. Good tires like these and cheap tires is... I mean, the difference is like when you buy a pair of lousy shoes and they have soles that don't really grip versus ones that really do and then you have good ones that that are very comfortable when you do sports and there are bad ones so yeah tires are important